And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube watching this video later on for some Teamer Walkers. That's going to be our first deck of the day today. We're going to be playing two decks in the standard metagame challenge. Uh, that's what I have the M and the C over here for. Um, so we're going to be playing Teamer Walkers over in the metagame challenge uh, to start with. And then we're going to be playing Ayara Citadel over there later as well. And then we're going to have two donation decks in between. So what this standard metagame challenge is all about is we play until we lose once. When we lose once, we're out. If we like lose immediately, we'll probably try it again, basically. But it has a lot of prizes um, if you can win um, four, five, six matches, uh, you know, even up to seven matches before you lose. Uh, there's, it's a really top-heavy event that's just here this weekend on Arena. It's just a special event. Uh, so we're going to try it with Teamer Walkers. We played this deck for the first time. Um, earlier on in the week and it looked pretty impressive it played well so we're gonna again you know we just kind of played it through a league to to test it out now we're gonna give it a, a harder test kind of like what we did with the affinity deck from yesterday with the metagame challenge and, and see how it holds up um you know kind of like a stress test you know see like where the weaknesses are and everything like that as you can see with with the game plan is to ramp early on turn one and two with the help of a Boral Grazer, Gilla Goose, and Paradise Druid, and then start dropping lots of Planeswalkers, especially our three mana Planeswalkers. There's so many strong ones in the Teamer colors. Our new ones, of course, are the Royal Scions and Oko Thief of Crowns. Um, but, you know, like we're trying to get a lot of Planeswalkers out and kind of control the battlefield with Planeswalkers. And then our finisher is Sarkin. We got four Sarkins in here. That if we can have a couple, you know, like two planeswalkers in play, play Sarkin, it's a really fast clock by ticking up and turning those planeswalkers into 4-4 four, four dragons. Um, <clears throat> I think planeswalkers are just in a good spot right now because of all of the sweepers being played, especially with um, the the Golas Field of the Dead decks that are playing all, the, all their sweepers. Um, so playing creatures is a little weaker there. And plus against Oko, how Oko can just turn creatures into three threes if you have like more expensive creatures such as your rock cavalier thorns oko can turn them into three threes and you know make makes uh incentivizes you to not really play those expensive creatures so let's let's try attacking with planeswalkers instead of attacking with creatures okay um let's give this a try let's see how it does so we are going to the standard metagame challenge available for the next 43 and a half hours from when this is being recorded on Saturday afternoon. And here we go. Hope you all like my, my new border around the camera. I think, I guess my camera is a little smaller than it was before. Um, so I may, I may, you know, kind of update that for uh, tomorrow's stream. But we'll kind of see how it goes with the battlefield. Yeah, we can keep this. I, yeah, I think everything's looking so far so good. I switched over to Streamlabs OBS instead of regular OBS. The kind of the problem is like this. See the the library count right there is at fifty two. So that's why I moved moved my camera over because I I don't want to cover that up. I don't was I covering that up before. With the old camera, y'all have to let me know if I was or not. I wasn't. That wasn't my intent to cover that up. I was covering that up before. So there were probably times where I showed that and didn't realize that I was covering it up. I'm not sure what's the best Planeswalker to play right now. Probably Narset. I feel like the, the actual gameplay is kind of sticking just a tad bit more. I don't think it's because of Streamlabs OBS, but I, I don't know. Oh, I, I forgot to pull up Deckmaster with everything else going on. Um, let me pull up Deckmaster. Um, it could be a counterspell deck. 
Do I want to throw a Sarkin immediately into a counter spell? Not really. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's a little my game plays a little slower. All right, is Deckmaster working now? I it should be up now. Okay, Teamer Reclamation. No, I, ha I have not applied for Cardboard Live. I I went to go download it and everything. I saw you have to like apply, and I just don't feel like going through all that. I think I have it at 1080. Just make sure. Okay, yeah. It's not at 1440. 1440 is usually a little delayed like this. Because, yeah, I... I don't know if it's part of the, if it's because of Streamlabs, which is which is why this is being a little delayed. But if it is, won't be too excited about that. Keeping that in case something happens to this other Sarkin. What happened with the metagame challenge? We're, we just started. Uh, we just started playing here at Drug Wizard. We're in our very first match. Um... Let me get rid of that. Your cam so more grainy with Streamlab OBS. Your cam so more grainy. Circa. Is it my shirt? Is I guess I am wearing a shirt just which is it's a white and blue striped shirt. It could be it could be kind of messing up with the cam. Alright, disdainful stroke negate, veil of summer. Want all those in, coil out, negate back in. Um Don't think I really need Sahili.
think I can be like a little slower. Like they're they're gonna be a little slower. I probably don't need four grazer, four goose, three druid. I guess the one to cut from there is Goose. Hey, Drekus. Thanks so much for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate that. Sub number three on the day. Okay. Okay, everything looks good, Houdini. Thanks. I think it's Goose we take out, out of these. No, I mean, exact same camera and everything. But I, I've put a frame, a little Vivian themed frame. Hmm. How are we doing on lands over here? 25? Yeah. Oh, it is October. I, I, maybe I'm supposed to have a spooky frame for October. I don't really want Reclamation to resolve, but I feel like I need to not just hold the gate up again. I held it up for like the turn four to see if they would play it first. Shocked in and passed a likely Chemister's Insight. And of course, you know, now they could play Reclamation. Ugh. So my opponent played that pretty well of not tapping out for Reclamation. I was hoping they would, but they didn't. Um, is Oko the best one? Wilderness Reclamation so good. It's just so much mana. Yeah, you can definitely negate Chemistry's Insight uh, at times. I'm just, yeah, I let that resolve to to try to negate a, a different threat. But yeah, certainly nothing wrong with negating a Chemistry's Insight.
Chandra's real good. So this this worked out very well for my opponent. Everything did. I guess I should not have tapped out. And let them resolve Reclamation. Thought about running a, a Ral in the sideboard for slower matchups. I would I'd rather have Chandra, Chandra and Ugin than Ral in the sideboard for slower matchups. But I think we're we're usually pretty good in the slower matchups anyway because our whole deck are Planeswalkers. So, so we're already doing just fine for the most part. So, of course, they could have Fry to kill my 4-4. If they have another explosion, we're okay there. All right, so Kasmina makes everything cost more for my opponent. I'm going to keep Veil of Summer available. Oko can turn this Grazer into a 3-3 next turn as well. I, I, I mean, I am keeping Veil for Explosion. That's what I'm kind of doing. Hey, Braincox. <clears throat> What's the best cyborg versus Just Guy Super Friends? For what are you playing? You're playing Golos? Probably Planar Cleansing. Yeah, probably Planar Cleansing. Okay. Gotta win. And we're 1-0 in the metagame challenge. All right, one win. So we get half of our gold back. 
I don't know what that whole thing's about. Thanks, Baloney Pony. How's the metagame challenge going? Uh, yeah, going so far so good. You know, that was our first match of the day. We ended up winning against Teamer Reclamation there. Uh, the MC just stands for metagame challenge. So that's what... So we're going to be doing two of those today to go along with our two donation decks. Hmm. That's a little risky. They killed the Gilded Goose. Yeah, we've seen a pretty good variety of decks in this. I I just played a couple of matches yesterday. Um, as well. I think yesterday with we saw like two Golos decks. That, that was like the only deck that we saw twice. Like a boss. Thanks for that resub there. What's up was out when you first started playing Magic? World Wake. Um, not really first started playing Magic, but like, like I played I played some Magic whenever I was um, younger in like middle school and stuff. And I think I think the sets there was like Odyssey. It was like around at that point. Um, But I didn't really, you know, like that was just, you know, like with friends and stuff wasn't really competitive. Uh, whenever I started, you know, getting back into Magic and really learning it and all that kind of stuff, world, it was right after World Wake. Block, come on, do it. Block. Darn, they didn't block. The Simic Flash that we're playing later is is a little bit of a budget. It's a little bit of a budget version for somebody using at at F and M. Um, you know, like they have like one brazen borrower, for example. Like that's like what they own, um, kind of thing. So we're it's a it's not a perfect list. We're playing a, a budget list there. Is it worth the white splash in these Simic Oko decks to run to Fairy? Kind of depends on on the deck, honestly. Um, to Fairy is obviously very powerful. Splashing white gives you some good removal spells between like Devout Decree, Deputy Detention, uh, things like that as well. Uh, if you if you need those. Um. I really want to shock again. Kind of looks like we're playing a mirror. Not sure. What do I really want if I play Tamio? I'm not sure. So I'll just play Narset. I can't really stop them from killing Royal Scions. Sitting back and, and trying to block, you know, just have my creature as a blocker doesn't make a lot of sense with Royal Sons being able to pump. Uh, 
Best way to ramp in Simic is a Boreal Grazer, Grow Spiral, Gilded Goose, Paradise Druid. Those are all very good. Um, sorry, as we get a little more expensive, Nyssa, Cavalier of Thorns. There you go, Spiral. Yeah, it's probably worth it if yeah you're facing a lot of flash and control decks. Then yeah, playing Teferi is probably worth it there for you. Okay, okay. We'll take the double trump. We'll take the double trump. So I'm going to do a little poll here, okay? Um, what should we do? Sure. Um, basically, the question with the poll is going to be, do you like the camera this the size that it is, or do you think it should be larger? Hey, God bless, Teresa. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate that. So I guess before it, my... My webcam was a little larger. Um, oh, whoops. I hadn't started the poll yet. Um, anyway, let's see. First. Play Sarkin and Minus. Yeah. <laughs> so, base okay. So with with this size camera, basically the big difference is whenever he, whenever I hover over this thing, you can see the opponent's library. Before my camera covered that up because it was a little bit larger. Um, but then of course you know I have a I have a smaller webcam right now. All right, so <laughs> I don't. There's not a third option to increase camera whenever Hawkeye's on screen. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do a 60-second poll. Um, I guess we'll do, uh, I'll write either big or small for what you prefer for the camera. Um, you know, if I make it just just a little bigger, but it co it'll cover up like the the 48 there, but it won't cover up graveyard or anything else. You know, y'all know like how, how we've had the, the webcam size for the last year, <laughs> basically. Um, and yeah, of course, I always I always answer whenever y'all ask about the library size. I I always answer. You know, I always look at it and I tell you know, I can always answer. So either just write the word big or the word small. All the four fours. All the four fours. Ooh, eating up a dragon. Night. All right, the wolf chomped a dragon. Man, super close pull. Team big. 
went over team small there. Maybe I need to redo that poll whenever we have more people in here, maybe. That was a very close answer there. That puts them down to five, but then they have pretty open attacks at my Planeswalkers, which is fine. The more they attack with Planeswalkers, the more these things are going to kill them. Yeah, yeah, so I, I could, yeah, I could I could have swapped and stolen either of these um, after plusing Mu Yanling, but I just wanted to just make another 3-3 three, three and hit them some more. But yeah, I could have minus five to Oko and, and swapped and stolen the Wolf or the, or the Bone Crusher Giant, either one. But they're down to five, and I'm attacking them with all these things, and they keep tapping their creatures. Best of three poll. All right, so yeah. Yeah, I'll take the poll in a couple hours when we get more people in here. And then maybe a couple hours after that. We'll, we'll do the poll like three times today. So Nagate is pretty decent against Royal Scions and Oko. Don't think I really want Vela Summer. Could play Lava Coil, like the fourth one. Don't think I really need that, though. Hey, Box of Rocks. Yeah, everything's going good. I've had a very... Um, a very busy day already today. I went grocery shopping already and then set up Streamlabs OBS after that. Yeah, Demir can do well in the metagame challenge. I I think my Demir deck is, is a few cards off. You know, like I think my sideboard is probably like three to five cards off in the main deck. Probably about five cards off. Um, so it, it needs some, some upgrades. I'm going to, I'm going to keep working on that off stream for the affinity deck. Cause I do like that deck a lot. Hehehehe. <laughs> I'm in the big camp. Wife loves seeing Hawkeye, which means I get to watch all the streams. So big. Yeah, he, he's back there on the couch right now on his blanket. <laughs> Curled up back there. Well, we have a lot of acceleration to nothing. I don't think you mulligan a handful of acceleration, though. It is just a handful of acceleration. <clears throat> if we don't find Planeswalkers, we will lose. Our deck is filled with Planeswalkers, though. So hopefully we do that. Temple's not a great draw. Yeah, we're going to have all the mana. A lot of our Planeswalkers, you know, can, can filter cards, whether, you know, like they draw a discard kind of thing. Hmm. Well, I guess we kind of lose this now.
Maybe I am supposed to mulligan a handful of just acceleration with no payoff. Especially on... I don't know. Having your acceleration on the draw is nice, though. When you're going to be a little bit behind anyway. But yeah, obviously, if we didn't draw Planeswalkers, we would lose. And our first two draw steps, zero Planeswalkers. So that's bad. Um, I don't know when the Brawl format comes out. I think... I think, I think I just saw November, but I, I don't know. They're playing Questing Beast also? All right, I need to get more Lava Coils in. Can I cut Paradise Druids? Of course, Oko can turn this thing into a 3-3, so then we have to just jump Questing Beast with a 3-3. Someone plays Oko first. Guess I'm going to lose now. Yeah, basically. I mean, last game I had Oko, and I won because I got to make a bunch of Elks. This time my opponent has Oko. Looks like they're going to win. Don't know. Don't know how good Nissa is here. Okay. Would I rather play Disdainful Stroke than Paradise Druid? Wicked Wolf. Wicked Wolf, Questing Beast, Nyssa. Could play Veil of Summer. Thing is, most of their stuff is red. Do I want to play the Sahili? It's basically this last slot. When you go with this, this 59 and then this last slot, I'm kind of deciding between Disdainful Stroke, Paradise Druid, or Sahili. Sahili works pretty well with Oko, making 1-1s one that Oko immediately turns into 3-3s. Three three I'm going to go with Disdainful Stroke. This is a lot better. You get to be on the play. Turn two Scions, turn three Kasmina. A lot better than last hand. Mm -hmm. dun, dun. 
down, 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 down. I should draw Oko. Well, we can scry for it. Don't really need a backup Casmina. This is tough. This is tough. <laughs> hmm. I guess I would rather keep up Negate next turn than play Kasmina. You know, I want to be able to negate Oko or Royal Scions. You know, I want to negate their turn three play. Yeah. And then Coil, like, of course, you know, if they have Questing Beast, they got to have an answer. Backup Sarkin. I'm going to just play Sarkin, make a 4 4, so that blocks Requesting Beast. What happens if I turn the Royal Scions into a 3-3 three, three after this? I go turn Grazer into a 3-3. Three, three. What happens if I just turn Royal Scions into a 3-3? Three, three? Yeah, I probably will live, right? Because it's just going to die at end step right now. It has no loyalty. It's going to die at end step. If I don't do anything, it's going to die at end step. If I turn it into a 3 3 after combat, obviously. If I turn it into a 3 3, will it live? Or should I turn this thing into a 3 3 and attack for 11? I guess I could just do that also. All right, science time. Even though we're the metagame challenge. Royal Scions would just die at end step. Let's see what happens if we turn it into a 3 3. It stays alive. It's a 3 3. So that's pretty cool. No, I don't think that's a bug. The 
Royal Elks. Yeah, I hear Questing Beast. That's what I thought would happen. Yeah, so it's not a Planeswalker anymore. It's just a 3-3 Elk. Okay. Properties. 2-0. All right. Yeah, that was pretty cool. We got to ultimate Royal Scions to go to zero loyalty and then still attack afterwards and turn it into a creature that still stayed alive afterwards also. Cool. Booster time. Can we get a mythic? We need a mythic. Oh, I think it's a mythic. Mythic wild card. Even better. That's whatever mythic I want. I think that's my first mythic wild card. Or like that's my only one now. I was out of mythic wild cards. I ran out. <laughs> um buttons aren't working though. I guess it really wants me to get packs. Alright, that works now. Alright, two and oh. So we, we'll get two packs if we win this next one. There's some irony there, since in the novel, the Scions are looking for their father, Kenrith, who was turned into an elk by Oko. That is, there is some irony there. I do not have everything worth having, especially with the mythics. There's still a lot of mythics. That I would like. Yeah. Last last set and this set ate up Mythic Wild Cards super fast. The last set with all the Cavaliers and everything. So what would happen if we took the... Alright, so we have our Royal Scions. It's a 3-3 now, right? And then... What if the next turn... What if the next turn we play like a flicker effect and we flicker the Royal Scions? It will come back in as a Planeswalker, right? Well, yeah, would like the loyalty reset and everything? I think it would. I'm pretty sure it would. It would just reset, loyalty would just reset and it would come in as a Planeswalker. So then we need, we needed uh, the Charmed Prince. So we need to play Charmed Prince. And Flicker. So I already have an Oko. I guess we'll put it to the bottom. Oko is pretty great, but I guess we'll go to the bottom. No, it's it's not a token. It's just a it's just a three three. <laughs> Sounds like a build around. So yeah, all we need is Oko, Sarkin, and Charming Prince. And other Planeswalkers. Kind of looks like Simic Flash over here. It could still be a lot of different things. Uh, it's better to have double blue in play right now. I got a lot of double blue three mana walkers. So like if we're going to... If we're going to play Temple next turn, it's good to have this mana base. Rude. All right, so there's some kind of Bant deck. 
not Simic Flash. Yeah, Simic Flash would have been kind of nice with having Chandra uncounterable give the emblem after Grazer does some damage. Uh, Sarkin or Oko? I'm not sure. If I go Oko, I can get to play the stomping ground in. We'll do that. This does... The one kind of bad part about this is it does allow them to jump block with Deputy pretty easily. Oh, this is a Golos deck. Looks like, I guess this is Bant Field of the Dead. I suppose. Don't mind me, just a Bant deck. Psych, Field of the Dead. They're like, ah, oh, no. I thought you were just a Bant deck. I fell for it. I mean, this. I just. I'm just not going to use this other Oko that's over here. Unfortunately. We're going to kill our opponent. We just don't get to use that other Oko, unfortunately. Oh, well. All right, so what do we want to do against Bant player over there? We probably want Sweep and Ashiok. And with playing Sweep, we don't want Paradise Druid or Sahili. That leaves me with 62. Could be Casmina. Disdainful Stroke's pretty great here also.
Yeah, I guess Agent of Treachery could be rough, um, but we'll have Disdainful Stroke for it. Should I take out this Lava Coil and instead play a Kasmina or a Spark? Double. No, we'll play the one Lava Coil with them having Deputy, trying to deputize my Planeswalkers. We'll have the one coil. <laughs> Any deck beating Field of the Dead is a great deck. <laughs> well, we only got one game. You don't get any rewards or awards. I guess I meant to say awards. You don't get any awards for winning one game. We got to win two out of three, so we need another one. Just like this hand. It's pretty garbage, so we need another one. Hmm. We need to just draw lands. This isn't bad, though. They don't have the most removal, so we can kind of rely on these geese staying alive. I like Flame Sweep, but I, I really want lands. I could hold up Disdainful Stroke here because they they go, they grow Spiral. I'll, I guess I'll just play the Goose. <clears throat> but they could potentially like grow Spiral then Circuitous Route, and I'll wish that I would have been able to counter the Circuitous Route. That's it's obviously like the best case scenario for them. They do have Spiral. Oh, and Field of the Dead. Never mind, we could just make it a better better case. Hopefully no securities are out. Bounce a goose. Nope. You're all about trusting you. Sounds pretty sketchy to me. All right, so Disdainful Stroke doesn't work anymore. Mu Yanling <clears throat> doesn't do a whole lot. See, we don't really want to make a token against Teferi. Well, there's all of our lands that I needed. So I'm probably just making another, um, making another food next turn over playing Mu Yanling. Ugh. That is more like it. I agree. Where's lands?
Probably should have taken Flame Sweep there. Could make my token into a 3-3. Three, three. Teferi bounces it. <laughs> it is very weird that they, they chose Teferi for the next core set, like to make a Teferi themed core set. Like if I had to list like the planeswalkers that they should probably make a, a themed core set for, I think Teferi may be at the bottom of the list. Very surprised by that. Yeah, I, I kind of expect uh, Elspeth to come back next set, honestly. You know, it's it's titled Theros Beyond Death. That feels like that's like a perfect, perfect set. For it to come back, for uh, Elspeth to come back. Like that's, that's probably what it, the Beyond Death part is referring to. I wish this Teferi wasn't in play. I want to steal Golos, but it's like, what's the point of stealing Golos when they're just going to bounce Golos? My cards kind of don't do anything. I guess I shouldn't have blocked with the Gilded Goose. It would have had Chandra. Yeah, this is game three. I sh I should have kept. I should have taken flame sweep. Should have taken flame sweep instead of Ashiok. That was a mistake. It's too late for Ashiok, and I don't have enough blue mana. I could see. I could see Elspeth being black white instead of just white. Yeah, Orzov. Could definitely see an Orzov Elspeth. Hmm. Just, I just don't like any options here with Oko. I guess stealing Oko. Like having Oko steal Golos, then they bounce Golos means that, you know, Oko loses five loyalty. So instead of that, we'll just make this token into a 3 3 where if they bounce the token, um, Oko doesn't, you know, doesn't have the minus five loyalty. Makes it harder to play Chandra, though. I mean, we could always just draw... <clears throat> I don't know. Like, what happens if we draw Sarka in here? I guess our Narset's dead. You know, like, we, we make a... We make a food for Goose. We can attack for eight. We can kill the Teferi. Hit, hit them for four. If 
I draw, even if I draw an untapped land, I can go like Chandra kill to fairy. That thing is a 7-7, seven, seven, though. It's kind of hard to make a food play Sarkin and then deal with this 7-7 seven, seven still. I guess we just can't. They have two more zombies coming in with this Fabled Passage. We're going to have a lot of Planeswalkers die here. They have 16 power. Ticking up on the Gola so they don't have exactly three to attack Mu Yanling, where they got to send, you know, two bodies at Mu Yanling. They got to send four. I guess it's they can still send three. They have to send Golos and a zombie. I guess that's still three. So I don't, I don't even know if that's. I don't know what to stick up on. All right, at least the Teferi's out of here. I think all of our stuff's probably going to be out of here though. Hey Kilo. <clears throat> All right, we're going to be on the play. On the play. <clears throat> yeah, this weekend there's a metagame challenge, and that's what I, you know, title of the streams is metagame challenge and donation decks. So metagame challenge or donation deck for the different decks there. All right, turn two, Royal Scions. We'll go Breeding Pool, Bacon. So we got a pool of bacon. Hopefully we can get this game three. <laughs> Bacon's good. How, how about a pool of bacon? How good's a, a pool of bacon? Oh, do I do I Oko or Scions? I feel like this matchup getting towards the, the Scions ultimate is where I want to go. I don't think... I feel like Oko isn't as impactful immediately here. Everybody says Oko, though. Hey, Caesar. 
Kind of like this going Royal Scions and looting and looking for, you know, like counter magic and Ashiox and stuff like that. And get to this ultimate. Hopefully my opponent has a slow hand. That's a terrible once upon a time. Just draw your card. If you're playing like like your opponent, don't don't cast once upon a time on end step. Basically never do that. Never cast once upon a time on end step. Always untap and draw your card first so that you have more information with your once upon a time. You know what your next draw step is. Like there's just no reason to cast it on end step. You're just making a worse decision for no reason. By worse, I mean less informed. A less informed decision. There's no upside. So I could do 4 damage this next turn, or make a 4-4. Four, four. I'm going with making the 4-4. Four, four. Possible that ends up being wrong, and I should just do 4 damage. Obviously really hoping to draw land here to be able to play Chandra next turn. You know, that's not the case. Honestly, maybe holding up Disdainful Strokes like a better play anyway, though. Against, I don't know what, Time Wipe, Golos, that kind of stuff. Go, Sark, and go. It's a good thing about your 4-4 your four, four flyers being Planeswalkers. They don't die to Time Wipe. Unless your opponent has Teferi and Sense and Speed Time Wipe. I think we got this one. They're probably playing some kind of five, five mana card. Tapping out. We counter it. Game's over. Three zero. -oh. Okay, doing good here. The metagame challenge so far. So it costs 2,000 gold to enter, so we've won 2,000 gold back and then three packs. So we just won three packs. So that's pretty good. If we get another, if we win this next one, we get 500, an extra 500 gold and two packs, then an extra 500 gold and five packs, an extra 500, uh, then an extra 1,000 gold and 10 packs. So yeah, there, we get to start having some ridiculous prizes if we can continue to uh, keep winning. Here we go. So many packs. Yeah, you can enter as many times as you like. Yep. 
it's just you know one one loss and you're out but yeah you can keep on keep on entering this thing it's pretty good pretty good ev you ended 2-1 twice called it a day hey that's not bad going 2-1 you you lose 500 gold but you also gain a pack and a pack is usually a thousand gold so um you're technically up 500 gold on that exchange all right we go first we have a slow hand good mana and everything i'm gonna mulligan not really any better but we won't go to five sure Temple of Milady. Do y'all like the a little bit of a opaque background there? Like a little bit of a black background for the text here? Lore talk. I don't. I don't know a whole lot of lore stuff. Yeah, I think it's probably a little easier to read whenever we put it there, but I don't know if that if that looks good with that little block part. I don't think having it fade at the edges is an option, I don't think. I think it's either just having it on. You know, I could you know, make it like that, but basically play another the other bacon to gain more life. And good, the scribe wouldn't have mattered anyway with the Assassin's Trophy. Yeah, opponent's hand was pretty good. <laughs> a lot better than my hand. You know, they had two drop, three mana removal, questing beast, rank all, and then trophy. It's a pretty good curve. That's fine, Samantha. I... I I kind of like how this looks. I, I know it's not that easy to read, though. Oh, sure. Just have a Love Struck Beast also. Cool. Well, I got more land. I guess I should have kept the first hand. This hand was not very good. <laughs> Ten lands. Ten lands is not ideal.
The Sahili just kind of continues to not look very good. Um, I think I want to play Vela Summers with their, you know, Assassin's Trophies and, and Midnight Reapers. Is that the name of the card? Murderous, Murderous Rider? Murderous Reaper? I don't know. Whatever the name of that card is. Murderous Rider, I think it is. <laughs> the Sahili is probably the weakest card in the deck. Knight Rider. Yeah, the the reason why, like the reason why I wanted Sahili at all. Um, I know it is definitely better when you have a bunch of one one or a bunch of one mana spells to trigger it. The thing about it though, even if you just trigger it once a turn, right? Like you just play your one planeswalker, you make a one one. You know that's not super valuable, but it pairs really well with Oko. That of course we have four Okos, where getting an extra one one Oko can just immediately turn into a three three, and so you don't have to like have the slow process of like Oko making a food and then turning the food into a 3-3. Three, three. You, you know, you can just make a 3-3 three, three every turn, you know, kind of build your own Nissa, but not have your lands at risk kind of thing. And then, of course, obviously, it's a... Um, it's a it's another Planeswalker, another cheap Planeswalker to have for Sarkin. Too late, shine down. Whoa. All right, double Mu Yanling. If I have one or fewer, do, does two damage to me? No, no. The five five. You need, so yeah. You need a, a one one in play to be able to attack with the five five. And so if Mu Yanling changes the five five, turns the you know turns the one one into not being a one one anymore by by reducing it, then the five five won't be able to attack. I know, 88, meditate. So Falmire Knight can attack like Narset, probably here. I want to leave the 4-4 back because of Questing Beast. Uh, 
right on now. Does not attack Narset. So if I attack with a 4-4, four, four, I don't have any defense. Which means Sarkin dies. But they're also at 4. How do you want me to do... Yeah, the 2-2 can't block. How do you want me to do 20 damage? Sarkin doesn't have haste. Yeah, I could have done 18 damage. Yep. With the Royal Silence tick up, I could have done 18. Because I could attack for 16, and then the Royal Silence damage could do 2 more. So I could do 18. Yeah, I have for the next turn. All right, so we actually drew Planeswalkers. That helped. Is there anything that I want to play? Do I want to play Flame Sweep instead of anything? With their little 1-1s. One -ones? Is Flame Sweep better than Coil? Maybe we'll go one Flame Sweep over a Veil, another one over a Tamiyo. No, I just want to play one flame sweep. Do I want third veil or do I want Tamiyo? I'm not sure there. I'll go Tamiyo. So two so taking out one veil for a flame sweep. Yeah, I guess Rankle can discard and sacrifice. Yeah. We're on the draw. Let's draw some lands. Grazer puts in a land, but if we don't draw more that that extra land drop won't be super valuable. It's a good draw. It's the worst land to draw, but it's a it's a land. That's a land. Hey Ninja Man. So do I use a flame sweep on just this innkeeper? So they don't get to cast stuff and draw cards. I think I'd rather use Flame Sweep than Coil. Because I want Coil for Questing Beast and Rankle.
Three drops too large for coil. What do we do? Um, hope they don't have a 1-1, one, one, I guess. Dang, that was a tough turn. All right, so that kills Sarkin. But we got backups. I'll keep the steam vents in hand for right now. In case we have to discard from something my opponent plays. If we really need it, we you know we can shock it in. We're at 26. Like the interplanar bacon's been getting us extra mana or extra life. Sorry, darn, I'm out of out of basics. I don't know exactly what my strategy is here. Royal Scion person. I guess we're just playing another Scions. Copies of Karn's Bastion, um, just not really necessary. Basic. I mean, I don't. I don't know if like like maybe the mana can handle it, but I'd rather be able to just reliably cast spells. We've seen like this whole this entire game, never been able to act, never would have activated. Like maybe we would activate it the next turn. Karn's Bastion just costs so much mana. It basically takes your entire turn. So I could have made another Casmina. To keep that, you know, make it so it's like four, you know, they have to pay four. Makes it harder for them to. Um, hmm. I wonder if they block. They snapped off that block pretty fast. Are you an elemental? No. Are you an elemental? No. Nope. Double checking. I 
I guess I should have done this plus first. Land? Yeah. <clears throat> hey, Matt Phil. Thank you so much. Yeah, I miss, miss Modern a little bit at times, too, but um, I like Arena. A lot of Arena is so much fun to play. And so I just, just stream Arena these days. Huh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, sorry, Moo. You're going to have to move over. Double Chandra. <laughs> yeah, we beat Golos earlier. Um, you know, Golos, like, Golos has made interactions playing a bunch of sweepers. And whenever you have, you know, Planeswalkers don't die to sweepers. And then, you know, you can use Sarkin to finish off opponents. Yeah, so far so good with Team or Walkers. Looks like we're about to be 4-0 here in the metagame challenge. Looks like it. You know, never know. Like, the opponent could draw a bunch of removal. I just top deck an Elder Spell here. No Elder Spell. We are four and zero. Yeah, we still had, even if they had Elder Spell, we still had two uh, emblems. So we weren't in the worst spot. All right, four and oh, so we got five packs coming. If we can win this one, we'll win another five packs. So hopefully we get this next one, get another five packs. Yeah, our deck's doing real good so far. <laughs> uh, I mean, if we if we draw a land, this is great. Sure, let's keep it. We're on the draw. We need two lands. Land. Okay, so far so good. Bacon's a pretty good land. It doesn't let us cast Lava Coil, but gaining life against a Fervent Champion deck is probably ideal. What'd you get? You took my land? They took our lands. I need that real estate. Why didn't you take Grazer? You could have Grazer. So ideally we get to spark double Oko the next turn.
If I block, Fervent Champion has First Strike, so if I block that, if they have Shock, which I think is pretty likely they have Shock here. Can't gain life. What? Why would we not be able to gain life? Okay, so this would have been would have been really good if it wasn't for that robber of the rich taking stomping ground. Stomping ground would have been perfect to have here. I mean, you're pretty cool, Moo Yanling. Do I keep you? I mean, I'm not playing you next turn. Or the turn after. So I guess we go to the bottom. Yeah, we're we're about to play. Uh, we're, we're, yeah, we're gonna spark double Oko and then spark double Oko. If they kill Oko here, we're in a lot of trouble. Of course. It's pretty unlikely they kill Oko though. Well, I'm kind of glad I did not give my opponent a Mu Yanling. They took a forest. I really like my real estate. They're going for the steal the real estate strat. Hey, good luck, Overdrive. Good luck. You're 6-0 right now. Good luck. You can do it. All right, we can gain life again. Tybalt's out of here. So 
Yeah, I stole the 1-1 one, one so that... Uh, that's the worst case scenario. Torbrand. So that we could kill this Tybalt. So we take three. Take five. But we get to we get to gain life again now. Do I want to... <laughs> this kind of deserves a, a screenshot. So I want to steal the Torbran. Or do I just want to make Torbran a 3-3, make this a 3-3? I think we steal Torbran. <laughs> uh... So many Elkas. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. Steal Torbrand, make a food, elk the food. That was That was my goal there. If only we would draw Sarkin like afterwards, so then because Sarkin, remember, turns all of your your planeswalkers into red dragons, so then it works with Torbrand, so they'd all attack for six. So we'd have we'd have three Okos attacking for six each. It would have been Six power, six power, and six power with the three Okos. And that would have been a sign. So we're going to play some Flame Sweeps, play a Coil. Still cut this Sahili that's kind of slow. Maybe I want Sahili over Tamiyo. Tamiyo pretty slow, also. Is Paradise Druid better than Narset? I keep the Paradise Druids in. Play negates. We're gonna play negates. I'm scared of um, cavalcade. Scared of Chandra. I don't think we've played against the McFlash with this deck. I don't think so. I don't quite remember. Everybody, the bird's the word. Boo, took a spark double. Chomp.
So my plan was to take was to turn the other goose into a three three. That was my plan here. Um, obviously, they had a shock for the other goose, so I was gonna you know I was gonna use one one goose for mana, the other turn into a three three. <laughs> yeah, they bolted the bird. Ow. Go down to seven. Back up to eight. No attacks. <laughs> We're looking okay right now. We're starting to stabilize. They obviously have some really powerful cards that they could play. But it looks like no fourth land as far as like Torbran and Frenzy are concerned. Of course, Casmina means that their spells cost two more to, to cast to target my stuff. So if they don't if, if they don't have shock, if they have, you know, like lava coil, they can't cast it. They don't have the two extra mana to pay. I have not read the Eldrain ebook. Somebody else in here was was talking about the lore with Rural Scions and Kenrith and everything earlier. Give me Zan Grief with the sub. Give me Zan Grief. Thank you so much for the sub there. Welcome back to the channel. Resub in there, three months. All right, so that is our sixth sub of the day. Let me edit that over here. Six. And choose attackers, no attackers. <clears throat> I was gonna say they could have the pump that's probably uh, light at the stage was my guess but I was saying they could have also had the rim rock night Fianturo Welcome, Fiorentero. All right, they got a rim rock and knight. Attack for twelve. Damn, damn, damn. Uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I can do 18 this turn. Is what I'm counting.
We'll just do 12. Because it wasn't lethal. Anyway. You know, like, I don't know exactly how they're going to kill us. I hope they can't. They can't. No, I, I counted eight. I counted the plus with the scions to be eighteen, because that's that's twelve there, and then thirteen, fourteen, then fifteen, sixteen. Like that's sixteen there, and then the plus with the scions makes it eighteen. So I could have, you know, I could have switched these out so they didn't have any blockers here, but that's still only eighteen. Oh, if I make the token, I guess I was I was thinking with Oko stealing. I guess if I make the token a three three. And then plus up on the token, so it's a 5-3 Trampler. Then they have to block here. Then then that's lethal, right? Because that's 12, 17, 18, 19. No, that's still 19? Because they, they block the 2-2. Two, two. So that's 12, 17, 19. That's still only 19. Oh, the Dwarf can't block? Oh, I guess I should have known. I guess I should have known that part. So I guess, so then it would have been 21. So yeah, it would have been it could have been twenty one, with the dwarf not being able to block. I was thinking we had to like switch to keep them from blocking, but yeah, I guess I didn't realize the dwarf couldn't block. <clears throat> I'll know that for next time. It's okay. We were our opponent untapped and conceded, so I think we were doing okay, even if we didn't specifically kill them that turn. <laughs> Yeah, chart. chat got me there, though. Okay, so we got five wins, ten packs, 3,000 gold. Let's keep it going. <laughs> that is true. I do not read every single card. I have a general assumption of what it does, and I kind of assumed the creature could block. <laughs> Arena feels like it could use a reset, but I didn't want to reset and, and lose whatever, lose our, our luck that we got going on here. So I could do Paradise Druid and another Goose this turn. That may be better, honestly. Than just playing Oko. Everybody says Oko, though. I don't think it's the block. All right, fine. We'll, we'll Oko. Because, like, then our, our Paradise Druid would be able to block this Scourge Spitter. That is true. Going this route, we have an Oko in play. So that's pretty great, too. Should I turn Steamkin into a 3-3? Three, three? No. What about making the, the Gilded Goose a 3-3? Three, three? 
Yeah, we're going for the 6-0. Yeah, we're playing the the metagame challenge, so we can win up to seven matches. Hi, Leah. Welcome to Twitch. This is where we play video games, and it's fun. Maybe should have elked the Steamkin. It's starting to run away. <laughs> Thanks, Unrelenting. Slang fire. Special things that you can't see. Going blind out of reach in the Vaseline. Xehanor, getting the gifted sub from Samantha there. Welcome to the channel, Xehanor. So I'm taking their Steamkin so that... So that they don't get all the extra mana with Steamkin, because... Um, all right, so that's our eighth sub of the day. Let's mark that down. You know, they just cast Light at the stage, so, like, they, they want to cast this Tin Street Dodger Slaying Fire. So, like, they want to, like, pay three mana Slaying Fire, then be able to have Steamkin add more mana. If they play both of those spells, we're okay. I assume they're going to Slaying Fire Oko, but maybe they Slaying Fire me. Yeah, Oko is pretty OP. Really want to draw fourth land here, of course. I need some more lands. Because extra lands means extra... Hmm. Extra lands means extra mana to make food with the goose. We know that's what geese do, is they just chill and make food. Oh, look at that, another Oko. Yeah, opponent, I just got really lucky and top-decked this Oko, for sure. I definitely did not have another Oko at all. Yeah, all that luck finding finding another Oko. Finding, yeah, we got so lucky to find that second Oko off of Narset. I don't know what we would have ever done if we didn't if Narset didn't hit Oko there. All right, so coil sweepers, Sahili, Druid, Tamio, Druid. All right, hopefully we have turn two Oko again. That was pretty good. Won't be on the play, though, this time. That was pretty good last time. I was honestly pretty worried about the, the red matchup with this deck. Like, you know, just kind of going into this metagame challenge. But we defeated red last match, and now we're up a game here. 
could of course go all wrong. We could lose the match still. But as long as we have Oko, we'll have a chance. Yeah, it does kind of turn out that having an Oko in play is better than not having an Oko in play. Who knew? E. We're so unlucky, we can't have turn two Oko unless we draw an untapped green land. You cast beast spells? No. At least we have two bacons. So we can eat eat up some of that damage my opponent's gonna deal to me with them. I know, right? We're just never lucky. Never get turn two Oko. Triple bacon. Triple bacon. I wouldn't mind a red source. No! Tybalt! The humanity. I still wouldn't mind a red source. You're going to play this and look for red mana. Okay, red mana, red mana. Um, yeah, so like the coil, like I kind of need for Tor Brand, but we could also have Oko for Tor Brand. I just, I just hope they don't have Tor Brand. Like that would be really bad for me if they curve it into Tor Brand. Yeah, Sarkin looks pretty good here. I don't think I don't think my opponent's playing cavalcade. I'm not gonna make it two two with Casmina because I want Casmina to stay at three loyalty uh, to make it harder for them to kill stuff. Like, well, I was hoping they didn't have the fifth mana so they couldn't fl uh, slaying fire my dragon. I guess they only need three mana to shock that thing. It's an interesting attack there.
All right, Starman. Take care. Have a great night. All right, Bacon got us there. Took us a little bit. I guess play, just playing Flame Sweep before Sarkin was probably better because of how easy it was to kill Sarkin. All right, we're 6-0. and oh. Got the 20-pack. Going for the 30-pack. Can we get it? Can we get it? Let's see. <laughs> 20 outlaw merit. Outlaw merriments. Uh, we need final boss music. Yeah, we'll bust open the packs. Yeah, I don't I don't know if this is hopefully this isn't jinxing it, switching out the playlist. We got our final boss playlist. I didn't I'm not resetting Arena, even though Arena's being pretty laggy now. It needs a reset. I'm not restarting Arena because I didn't want to jinx it. But oh well, we'll, we'll switch up the playlist. This is Those Who Fight Further, the Final Fantasy VII boss theme. That's pretty good. Turn to Narset. I think it's better to lead off with Grazer than lead off with Goose. So we don't have to use our egg or our food, whatever. And good scry. Temple Scry Bottom. I feel like that's a really good Magic Online username. If you want if you want a good Magic Online username, Temple Scry Bottom. Could be a good, good character name. Playing against Temple of Malady. Uh, I don't know. These are both pretty cool. Yeah, it's a mem memory leak th issue with Arena. Attack Grazer. Now we looting. Now I wish I would have taken Sarkin, obviously, now instead of Mu Yanling. That's pretty good. I am one off of being able to go Mu and Spark Double, unfortunately.
<laughs> Dude sounds like Pippin. Does sound like Pippin. <laughs> Pippin is a good character there in Lord of the Rings. Yeah, no Oko this this match here. <laughs> What's up, Storm? Yeah, we 6 0. Going for the 7 0. Looks like we got Golos, Field of the Dead here. Good final boss. Hey, there's Oko. So do I go Oko, Mu Yanling? Do I double spell with Oko and Mu Yanling, or do I just play Chandra? Chandra start getting an emblem. I probably go I probably double it up. Do you think they're playing playing planar cleansing? That would be annoying. Yeah, Agent of Treachery is kind of rough. So, like... Putting these Royal Scions up to 8 is kind of rough against Agent of Treachery. Because, like, they could Agent of Treachery one Royal Scion and then, ha and then ultimate and then kill the other one. Oh, well, just, we're just hoping they don't have Agent of Treachery. Basically, if they don't have Agent of Treachery, they're going to die. Oh, I guess I guess we have Narset in play, so they don't get to draw a whole lot of cards. So they would only have five, so they couldn't kill the other Scions. They could kill, like, the Oko. They don't get to draw extra cards. So it's not, that's not so bad for us because of Narset. Okay, so they took Narset. No, well, because, so I can't draw extra cards with Royal Scions with Narset in play. That's why they did it. Because double Scions, that's why, because they, I can't, I don't draw, I don't draw any cards. That's why they took the Narset. To stop the Royal Scions. Or so I'm just going to Chandra, kill the Narset, and now kill them. So that makes sense, because I had Narset in place, so they, if they steal Scions, they don't get to draw cards. That's honestly a pretty good line by our, our opponent. <laughs> Todd streams I sub. It's that simple. Thanks so much, Clockwork John. Arena. Okay, there we go. Oh, looks like our Arena bugged out and switched back to ten to fourteen forty. Let's go back to ten eighty. Okay. So I want all these. I don't want these. I want these. I want these. I don't want that. Don't want those.
All right, here we go. I think I kind of want to keep Casmina. It makes it harder. It makes it harder for Agent Treachery to take my stuff. I mean, I have, I have Disdainful Stroke to counter Agent. So, like, you know, we have Disdainful Strokes. I know Veil of Summer can, but that's that's basically all Veil of Summer do, is doing is just Agent Treachery, where Disdainful Stroke can do a lot more. Oh, that's true. Kasmina doesn't even work on Agent of Treachery anyway. All right, Kasmina, you can go. All right. Game number two. We only had a couple more lands. I mean, I, I would love turn two Ashiok. I wish we could turn like the Kasmina. I wish we could turn like all three of these into lands. <laughs> I'd take all three of those into lands. We're gonna have to mulligan though. Ugh, this hand's so slow. Do we go to five cards or do we keep this slow hand? Y'all like keeping this? We have the scry land, which is nice. It is a bad hand. Five is five is risky. I kind of feel like I maybe should have just gone to three or gone to five. We'll see how good these flame sweeps are. If you had to replace any one of the Moo Yanlings with another Planeswalker, any suggestions? Move Ashiok to the main deck? Question mark. No, I'd probably just play like another. I'd just play another one of the other planeswalkers that are in the main deck. You know, maybe another Tamio. Another um, Narset. Um, play like another one of one of either of those. Maybe a four mana Chandra. Yeah, no. Uh, I mean, you could play. Dom I mean, Royal Scions are much, much better than Do than three mana Domri. For this deck, three mana Domri doesn't do a whole lot for you. Royal Scions are, are really awesome. Um, yeah, you win a lot of games with Royal Scions ultimating because it ultimates so fast, and it you know goes through your deck pretty fast too. The goose. Yeah, I can I can understand. Yeah, if you're lacking a mythic wild cards, I, I'd probably rather play like again like other like another Narset, which is an uncommon. Over, I think Narset's just more valuable than three mana Domri.
Mm -hmm. Uh, no, red red cavalier for surprise when Sarkin is out. For surprise lethal when Sarkin is out. No, you you already kill your opponent when you have Sarkin out and all that kind of stuff. You don't red cavalier doesn't help. Crisis is big and annoying. I'm casting Chandra. I just don't know if the move is to just completely get rid of Crisis with the minus six and kill my Chandra, or if it's start getting slowly get emblems. That's so rough. They just get to draw three cards and take my next turn. Uh, Crisis is good. <clears throat> All right, well, this game... I should have just gone down to five. This hand was way too slow. Did see Mystical Dispute. It's going to be an annoying one. Cause the thing is, I, I can't even like play a Planeswalker at this point in the game. The game's just over. I mean, I could keep fighting on... There's not really any use. You still think, still feel Veil is a good pick here. I guess if they, yeah, if that's their plan is to counter my stuff with Mystical Dispute. That was the only thing that Veil would have done this, that game. I could play two Veils instead of what, instead of a Mu Yanling and a Kasmina. Instead of Kasmina. How valuable are these 4 4 elementals? I'll play one Veil over that other Kasmina. <laughs> yeah, Domri doesn't really do anything. Well, I got turn two Oko. That's the good news. Bad news is I got nothing else. But we got turn two Oko. Please do not have Girl Spiral. All right, so I could have made, could have made a food into a three, three. But then I don't have disdainful stroke up. I thought it's you know it's possible to have gross spiral into circuitous route, and if that's the case, I, I really need to counter the circuitous route. If they had the perfects. Gross spiral field of the dead, that is 
the perfect turn two, if they have the perfect turn three, you're going to need to counter it. No. Uh, disdainful stroke. It's still not so bad for us. Because we have Ashiok in place now. Circuitous route. Golos can't, can't shuffle. Or can't fetch. Search. Whatever you want to, whatever word you want to use. Whoa, we have 1,400 people in here. What's up, everybody? Hope y'all are having a good weekend. Teferi. Rude. Hmm. So I can Chandra or hold up to Stainful Stroke. I mean, yeah, I'm going Chandra. Well, nice to meet you, Chandra. I'm Todd. All right, double Devout Decree gone. I can't really imagine they're playing more than two Devout Decrees. Yeah, one field down. They got double forest. Doesn't really help with field. <clears throat> we have Chandra to exile this crisis. That's it. 7-0. Victory, 7-0. We did it. Metagame challenge was not challenging enough. Has been conquered. 30 packs, 5,000 gold. Where's our victory fanfare? All right, do we open the packs one at a time or 10 at a time? Ten at a time. For knock. Thanks for knock. Thank you so much for the support. Thanks for the sub there, our tenth sub of the day. So I already have all the rares in the set. All right, that's another sub goal towards the 12 hour stream. What we do here is whenever we hit 20 total sub goals, we do a 12 hour stream. Each sub goal is 10 subs on a day. We're getting pretty close. That is sub goal number 17. So we are almost there. Only three sub goals away from a 12 hour stream. Okay, and I updated that. That's in the info panel. You can see that down there. All right, so a lot of gems and a Rankle and a Harmonious Archon. Ten more. All right, we got a Circle of Loyalty and a Rare Wild Card and a bunch of gems. We've got three Mythics so far. 
Yeah, you can open packs 10 at a time. As long as you have to have 10. But And then it just shows you whatever your rare is in the pack. Two Mythic Wild Cards. Cool. So I started this... Whenever we started playing this, I had uh, zero... I had zero Mythic Wild Cards. And now we have four Mythic Wild Cards. So hey, we've gotten a bunch of Mythic Wild Cards. So that's good. Whoa, unrelenting. Gifting out five subs. Thank you so much, unrelenting. Keeping on this hype armada going on right now. <clears throat> you don't have enough uncommon wild cards? I wish I could share them. All right, halfway to another sub goal. Yeah, I'm definitely going to restart the client here. Immortal Kindred, after we get done talking about the deck. Um, so yeah, talking about our deck here. Basically, everything went really well. Obviously, going 7-0 in that metagame challenge. We defeated... All right, now I'll get back to the regular playlist. We defeated Model Red twice. We defeated Golos twice. So good, good showing with both of those. Um, I'll just say that, like, really just the strength of our deck are, is having four Grazer, four Goose, eight one-mana creatures that get you to have two mana... Or, sorry, to get you to have three mana on turn two. And then, you know, just, just slamming these Planeswalkers on turn two. Um, that's, that's certainly the strength of the deck. But then we're kind of just attacking at a different angle here. Um, and... While a lot of people are playing like a bunch of sweepers, you know, time wipes and, and the giant sweepers and, you know, all sorts of creature removal and everything, people don't interact with planeswalkers super well right now. And so, you know, we can stack up a planeswalker or two. And then Sarkin was obviously incredible with us having the extra planeswalkers. And that's the thing about Royal Scions and Oko. They, they have so much loyalty that they're just unkillable. Like you can't... Um, you really can't kill Royal Scions or Oko. They have, you know, six loyal six loyalty on turn two. Like, what are you supposed to do about that? You can't kill those. It's way too much loyalty. And so they just never so they never die, so they're always in play. And so then whenever you play Sarkin, and then then they're just um you know, they're just uh four fours immediately there. <laughs> I'll have you know my deck runs four main deck elder spell. There you go. Uh, anyway, uh, another question earlier was if we drop Sahili, what would we want to put in? I, I do think Sahili is, is the worst card in the deck. And I think the Paradise Druids aren't really that spectacular either because we're we're really trying to go from one to three all the time. So those are those are kind of the, the weakest cards in the main deck. Um I'm I'm also not really sold on the Tamio. Because I don't know, like I mean, I guess, like, basically, Tamio can help you find Sarkin, or can, like, get back a Sarkin that you killed, but, you know, it doesn't do a whole lot, you know, in, in combat-wise. So, I'm not sold on the Tamio. So, it's possible those slots could be, uh, could be something else that's better. Um, we've talked about maybe even, depending on how aggressive the format gets, like, maybe even just having Flame Sweeps in the main deck instead of, like, Paradise Druids and Sahili's. The Paradise Druid was just fine for us, though. It was okay. I mean, I, I like those are the cards that I sideboard out most of the time. It could just be playing a third Royal Scions instead of the Sahili, honestly. Royal Scions is, is awesome. You know, kind of thinking about, like, what, like, how y'all are, like, you know, asking, like, what, what else to play there. Maybe just a third Royal Scions instead of Sahili. This card is just is so good of just ha you know it just has so much loyalty. You know, playing it on turn two, you get to really filter your your cards, and then it ultimates so fast. You know, immediately when you play it, like on you know especially on turn two, it's at six right away. Turn three, it's at seven. Turn turn four, it's at eight. You're ultimating. Can also play Fire Artisan. Yeah, Fire Artisan is is definitely something that could go in. Uh, you know, could play that instead of this third Royal Scions instead of Tamio. It is good to have a variety of planeswalkers when you are 
looting through your deck with Scions and when you're searching through your deck with Narset. And, and of course, just for Sarkin, you want a variety of Planeswalkers. I'd have to say the Spark Doubles were awesome. They were so good. Um, especially with paired with Royal Scions and Oko, like with these two cards. Because because people you can't kill Scions and Oko whenever you play them. And then if you get to copy them and you get to have double Oko in play, it was incredible. Like Against like the model red opponent that one time, we had triple Oko because we had both Spark Doubles on Oko, and it was just game over. Um... I, I think I would play three Royal Scions before I play three Spark Doubles, though, because you really want to have one of these two to Spark Double. But honestly, we had the other game where just Mu, Mu Yanling and Spark Double work really well together also. You know, getting double Mu Yanling um, is is pretty awesome also. It, you know, with having both of them plus two, it just creates so much defense. Um, yeah, we had triple Loco against the Mono Red opponent. So that was pretty awesome. Yeah, Questing Beast, if you want to get more aggressive, Questing Beast can be there. That can also be a card. I don't know. So I think I think that's what I'm going to do, though, is take out Sahili for a Royal Scions. I think that's, like, the, the first thing. And then kind of just keep playing some more, you know, start start seeing if we, if we struggle. Chandra was just incredible for us, and there's only the one Chandra. Like, maybe there's supposed to be a second Chandra instead of, like, a Paradise Druid. Chandra did a whole lot for us. We we even got to spark double a Chandra once and have double Chandra in play. That was awesome. <laughs> spark double is really good. Um, like honestly, I probably want to do that. I probably want to put in a second big Chandra because the card was just so good. And cut a Paradise Druid there. Having, whoops, having another Chandra does allow you to discard the Chandra to like Royal Scions or Casmina easier because you know that they're you know it's not your only copy like there is another copy so if you're if you're kind of struggling with land drops you can discard the other chandra a little easier because it's not your only one now this deck doesn't really need escape to the wilds it's just ex it's expensive like you don't really need it yeah <laughs> cut rams had a six drop i mean i i basically cut the paradise druids all the time in the matches it's not really that necessary like this certainly the strength of our deck is going like <clears throat> we want to have these cards and so our strength is just going turn one these things and then turn two these things and so we're trying to skip over the two mana slot uh worst matchup maybe simic flash i don't i don't really know you know we just went 7-0 but i don't think we played against simic, simic flash would probably be tough because we're playing so many uh planeswalkers but then again if you have turn two Oko against the McFlash, that's really good. Like Oko can just win you there. And then putting in another Chandra that's uncounterable. So I don't know. We went... So I've, I've played this deck twice now. And we went 5-0 last time and we went 7-0 this time. So I actually have... I've never lost with this deck. We went 12-0 so far with the deck. But to be fair... The 5-0 that we had last time was was not in ranked. We played it. We just played a league because, you know, I just built the deck and I, I tried it out in, like, the, the regular league where you pay your 1,000 gold. And for some reason during that league, we got paired against, like, two beginner decks and, like, two other opponents that weren't very good. And it was it was a pretty easy league. So um, so I wasn't really sure what to take from that. You know, like, we, we went 5-0, but it was just a really easy league of not really playing against the most competitive decks. And so then, so then, you know, I wanted to try it here in the competitive metagame challenge. And we did play against a whole bunch of competitive decks, and we went 7-0 still. So. so maybe I shouldn't be changing stuff. You know, maybe we shouldn't take out the Paradise Druid or the Sahili because <laughs> we haven't lost yet. So anyway, there we go. That's Teamer Walkers. Um, when is the next MCQ? I don't know when the next MCQ is. I actually am not qualified for the next MCQ right now. So if it's if it's this month, I'm actually not qualified for it, because last month, even though we got up to number we were we got up to rank number eight mythic last month, but like the day before, yeah, literally the day before the end of the month, I dropped from like number like twenty something to like no, to like ninety nine percent. We went up, we went like two and six like that day, and it just dropped us our percent down so much because we were playing against people with lower percentages, and then I. 
just that one, two, and six stretch, then I, I didn't get in the top 1,200. So I actually didn't. <laughs> I could have just not played that one day in ranked, and we would have been ranked like number like 20 something. <laughs> Uh, anyway, should you spend wild cards on the deck? I don't know. Maybe it went really well for us. I understand it's a lot of mythics though. So it's, it's hard for me to tell you. It's hard for me to just say yes, absolutely. Cause it is a lot of rares and everything. So I don't know. Anyway, uh, I should get going. We should get to our other decks. We got Abzan Knights up next. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. For those of y'all that are newer in the chat, I put up all the replays on the YouTube channel. This one will be up in about 45 minutes or so. Um, but uh, yeah, there we go. So also over on YouTube, leave some comments. Let me know what you think of the deck over in the comment section. And if you're trying the deck out, um, also let me know how you're doing with it. And if you, if you are struggling with anything, let me know. Cause you know, we haven't lost with the deck yet, but if you're struggling with stuff, let me know. So then I know that maybe, you know, like what the, like where are the weaknesses in the deck that we need to shore up? All right. That's it here for team or walkers though. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.